मणिपुर की हिंसा और हालात पर संसद से सड़क तक हंगामा मचा हुआ है विपक्ष जो है प्रधानमंत्री के स्टेटमेंट की मांग कर रहा है लेकिन सरकार अड़ी हुई है कि जो बहस होगी उसमें प्रधानमंत्री का बयान नहीं होगा तो हम जानते हैं मणिपुर के ताज़ा हालात मणिपुर की जो पार्टी है नागालैंड पीपुल्स फ्रंट जो एन की पार्टनर है मणिपुर की सरकार में भी पार्टनर है उनके जो सांसद हैं लोरहो एस अपोजे इनसे जानते हैं मणिपुर के ताज़ा हालात और वहाँ पे स्थिति ऐसी क्यों बनी हुई है क्यों वीरेंद्र सिंह की सरकार सिचुएशन को कंट्रोल कर पाने में अब तक नाकाम साबित हो रही है स्वागत है आपका लोरहो साहब द प्रिंट में आपसे सबसे पहला सवाल ये कि आपको क्या लगता है कि मणिपुर के जो हालात हैं ऐसे हालात क्यों हुए हैं और क्या स्थिति इस समय है The situation in Manipur has always been very grim. Um, since the uh, coming and uh, going, returning of our honourable Home Minister, we had expected uh, some improvement. Yeah, there was a period of lull, but then after that, you know, it aggravated again, and so it has been going on like this off and on. Some very severe, ugly incidences have been occurring every now and then. Uh, burning is still going on. Killing is going on. You know this, uh, uh, whatever ugly things are happening, and so it is very unfortunate that uh, the state is unable to contain the violence. And uh, those people who are at large, meaning uh, especially those who have sophisticated weapons, they are going around even in the community, creating a lot of terror and fear amongst the communities. And I think uh, this is this is seen as something very uh, negative, because uh, we had expected that the coming of the Home Minister would have improved the law and order situation. Uh, even Article 355 is supposed to have been imposed, but whatever it is, uh, that has not been effective. People are still going about doing their, you know, all this type of rowdies and causing uh, fear. Uh, killing, burning, and things like this are continuing on. So it is very unfortunate. We have the mob, which is uh, one of our big problem. The mob is now unable to control. The mob has become irate. They are angry. They are angry with various things. Maybe yes, with one another. That is another thing. And the other thing is also that the government itself is unable to control. It's one thing which is causing a lot of anger even amongst the people. Yeah, so this is unfortunate. Unless the government does something to control this soon, it will go. दूसरा सवाल कि आखिर मणिपुर में वीरेंद्र सिंह की सरकार सिचुएशन को कंट्रोल कर पाने में इतने दिनों में 80 दिन से ज्यादा हो चुके उसमें नाकाम क्यों साबित हो रही है? So it is uh, very difficult to understand the reason why. But uh, I think, to some extent, as many people have, uh, you know, suspected, the government is allowing this to happen. I don't know for what reason. So I think uh, it cannot go on like this. You know, the state has gained uh, development, prosperity, and you know, until very recently, until this problem started, suddenly one day this started, and then it has really made the state. Go back, slip back by more than 10, 15 years, and so like the the hope of the people looking at Manipur as a destination, you know that has become uh, that has shattered. People are now not willing to invest. People are now fearful of traveling to Manipur, and uh, you know this is absolutely unnecessary. And so unless the government comes down heavily on those perpetrators. Whoever is causing fear, who is whoever is you know brandizing arms and then going around like this and then causing uh, death and uh, you know uh, arson and burning and things like that, I think unless they are captured, they, unless they are arrested, unless they are put behind bars, uh, things will not move. So it is unfortunate. I call upon the government to do whatever is necessary so that quickly, as quickly as possible, the the वायलेंस शुड बी कंटेंट ऐसे हालात में आपको क्या लगता है कि सोल्यूशन आज की तारीख में क्या है हिंसा को रोकने के लिए ट्रस्ट बहाल करने के लिए सोल्यूशन क्या है गवर्नमेंट इज साइड ऑन वन साइड इट इज नॉट वट आई एम से बट द कम्युनिटीज फ्रॉम द अदर साइड इज फीलिंग दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज साइडिंग विद अनादर पार्टी अनादर ग्रुप एंड सो दिस इज वेरी बैड विच इज वाई 
whenever there is even a call for peace, a return to harmony, and a return uh, for people to meet together, the people are refusing because they do not trust the leadership in this government. Yes, Mr. Biren Singh, if he continues on because of the way the cookie communities have completely lost trust in him, and then even the 10 MLAs from that community, they have, you know, uh, submitted a uh, memorandum urging for separate administration. I mean, this calls for, you know, they are trying to uh, do away with the state government, which is very unfortunate. So when such things are happening, if he is still at the helm of things, I don't think things will improve. I don't think uh, any call for peace will work. That is what I feel. एक सवाल और है लोरो साहब कि जो हालात हैं वहाँ पर जिस तरह के हिंसा जिस तरह के वीडियो आए उसमें केंद्र सरकार से उम्मीद की जाती थी कि केंद्र सरकार प्रोएक्टिव होकर अगर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को चला पाने में वीरेंद्र सिंह नाकाम रहे हैं तो उनकी जगह या तो राष्ट्रपति शासन लगाता या मुख्यमंत्री को बदलता तो सेंटर वाई सेंटर इज रिलेक्टेंट दैट इज दैट इज द the question i also really do not understand because we try to speak to the government they have their own views they are i think uh, now that the government has not worked until a period of time now it has they have become a little hesitant to do anything drastic yeah unfortunately or fortunately for biren uh, there were a group of people when he was willing to resign there are a group of people who came and asked him not to resign and they tore off the they throw off the uh, resignation paper. Many people think that it was a staged uh, a drama, uh, but whatever it is, because of that, I think the center also thought that people still want him. So let us see what goes on. Maybe they're waiting and observing. But I think, as I say, things are deteriorating. And, you know, there, there are three or four communities, the Kukis, the Metis, the Nagas, and also the Meite Pangans. Uh, there are these other communities who have been actually uh, no, uh, neutral to the violence are also beginning to feel very, very uneasy. And I think it is time that uh, something drastic happens, something uh, should come back. You know, the trust of the people should be once again won. And that can happen only if you have right leadership, who have leadership who are neutral and who is there proactively working for peace. I think only then Manipur will come back, return to normalcy. You, uh, your party is in uh, alliance uh, with BJP, but uh, do you think you have lost confidence uh, now? See, when, when uh, things like that are happening with our government, uh, definitely we are also affected. So it leaves us in a very big dilemma because uh, in one, on the one hand, we need peace, we need development, we need to grow. On the other hand, we are losing out on the people's trust. So this is a dilemma we are in. So I think we have to take a call, but uh, I think we are expecting that the, we, our trust is not with Mr. Biren or with anybody. We trust the central government. We trust in the leadership of the center. And we hope that the center will do something that is that will assuage the you know, or the, that will help us to regain confidence and build a trust with each other. Doro sahab, one question is that the people who are there, the cookie community, they are demanding that they need a separate administration in that administration, or they can't live with the community. The trust that has been reached here. So what is the opinion of Naga people? See, the, the center knows best the complicated situation of Manipur. Between the Kukis and the Nagas, we had had a very terrible time in those uh, about more than 20 years back. And uh, this has been, uh, this has still not been completely, you know, uh, forgotten. Uh, and so some, some sense of uh, uh, problems are still there, but whatever, we, because we belong to the same tribal fraternity, we cannot continue to look on each other in that hatred. We cannot be bitter with each other. And so we are beginning to forget. Now, when this particular instance, when the cookies are demanding for a separate administration from within the state of Manipur, when it is uh, propping up again, the Nagas decided to stay off because we had our own issues with them. 
but it is not that we are wanting to bring back any of those bitterness back but then i think it is only a call to the cookies also and also to the central government and also to the maitis also to be to work very carefully in whatever we are dealing with because manipur is very volatile manipur has got this ethnic groups which are you know who don't look at each other with so much of trust and uh, things like that so i think we are going through a very troubled time i only hope that uh, uh, everybody concerned stakeholders whoever concerned they will be very careful in working out anything that is uh, viable that should be sustainable that should not lead to another conflict in the days to come in your sense in your views what is the solution of this conflict how this can be controlled or uh, how uh, peace uh, should be see immediately i feel that we should install a government that has the trust of the people unless we have the trust and confidence of the people things don't work but If, there is a government there is a government which has lost the trust of the people which is why we need to install another a government which has the trust of the people so it is up to the central government to work on it mr biren tried to resign he was not allowed to resign and which is why he is sticking on and whether it is good or bad i think the center knows so the center must take its call that is what i have to say जो मणिपुर के हालात हैं वो आपने क्या सरकार को जो केंद्र सरकार के लोग हैं जो होम मिनिस्टर हैं उन सब को ब्रीफ किया है बताया है यस वी हैव अप्रोच द होम मिनिस्टर एंड आल्सो वेरियस अदर लीडर्स ऑफ द पार्टी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन वट एवर इज नेसेसरी सो इट इज फॉर द गवर्नमेंट टू टेक अ कॉल से आई कैन नॉट गो ऑन इंडिविजुअल बेसिस because Birin is a very good friend of mine or whoever is there we are all good friends but i think when it comes to the people when it comes to the governance uh, that is where i think uh, something has to be uh, looked into uh, a review has to be taken aur ab to ye halat hain ki jo manipur ki hinsa ki chingari hai wo north east ke dusre rajyon tak bhi pahunch rahi hai जिस तरह से मिजोरम में मैपी समुदाय के लोगों को कहा जा रहा है कि आप छोड़कर चले जाएं वहां से ढेर सारे लोग जा भी रहे हैं तो आपको लगता है कि ये जो आग की जो चिंगारी है वो दूसरे राज्यों तक भी फैल सकती है but i think this are taken wrong interpreted wrongly also i only wish that uh, we do not make it into an issue that will actually uh, burn and meghalaya also of course they are only being careful i only hope that our leadership wherever it is whether in mizoram or uh, meghalaya or maybe even in neighboring assam and tripura i think our neighbors should only be careful yesterday at in nagaland uh between the cookies the maites and also the nagas they had a meeting together they had a sort of a very i think wonderful get together i think that is something that we should really start and i think when in small groups when things like that start uh, definitely it will catch on and uh, we are hoping that good sense will prevail and we need to really live together and so peaceful coexistence can happen with such that things to happen एक सवाल और भी यहाँ पे उठता है कि जब शुरुआती दिनों में जब हिंसा की शुरुआत हुई तो आ, कई सारे लोगों ने ये कहा कि जो स्टेट की एजेंसियां हैं जो पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेस हैं आ, उनमें कंफ्यूजन है डिप्लॉयमेंट को लेकर आपको लगता है कि ये भी एक शुरुआती बड़ी वजह थी जिसके कारण हालात बेकाबू हो गए and uh, he is the coordinator amongst all these military forces or including the state law enforcing agencies so that is what i'm saying uh, there is doubt one one group against the other there are always apprehensions one against the other there are counter you know there are allegations and counter allegations going on i do not think that this very healthy the the chief minister so long as he handles this a particular position of being the central command um i think the other groups will not have their trust which is why i think uh, uh, i think uh, that is what we have been trying to say again and again that trust should come back this deficits whatever should be removed that is what
बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हमसे जुड़ने के लिए अलोरो साहब थैंक यू थैंक यू जैसा कि उन्होंने बताया कि इस समय शांति बहाली की दिशा में पहला जो कदम है वो ट्रस्ट बहाल करने के लिए मुख्यमंत्री को हटाया जाना चाहिए वहाँ की एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वहाँ की सरकार को बदला जाना चाहिए तभी शांति बहाली की दिशा में कदम आ, हो सकता है और तभी सरकार अस्थायी शांति बहाली वहाँ पे कर सकती है शंकर अनिमेश द प्रिंट